welcome to Turbo Cider Day 12. Um, this is a little later than we planned. I previously said back in five days. And, um, and after five days, the fermentation was still pretty volcanic. And um, so we're giving it a bit longer, um, a bit longer than I planned actually, day 12, but um, we've given it a little bit longer and it has settled down. Now, learned a few interesting facts though in between as we decided how we were gonna go about brewing the, um, the turbo cider. And there are as many different approaches and recipes as you could possibly imagine um, in terms of what to do. So today we will have the opportunity to try a little bit of the cider, but I am actually going to rack it, which means I'm gonna transfer it out of the bottle, um, try and remove any sediment that was at the, at the bottom, let it settle for a few more days, and then I'm going to, going to bottle it. And, um, and the reason for doing this is the previous brew um, had quite a lot of sediment carried over. And, then, and by racking, I am expecting to reduce the amount of, amount of sediment. Now, the other thing that's been interesting was the hydrometer reading. And um, I've still got some of the original apple juice that I used. And interestingly, the um, expectation for the hydrometer reading should have been around the 152, 1052 mark. And, um, and I'd come up with 1040, and I figured that could have been my you know, sort of inexperience reading the hydrometer. So I've had another go, and it is actually coming out just a little bit above 1040. So taking another reading, the reading is coming out very much 1046, um, which is much closer to the 1052 that was perhaps expected. So I'm gonna go with that reading for my calculations. Now, one of the things I experienced when I was preparing this was I had four and a half litres of juice. And um, for those who watched that episode, I ran out of space. Now, it turns out the reason is really clear. This is actually a US gallon, which is 3.7 litres, not 4.5 litres, like the UK Imperial version. So hence, that's the reason why I ran out of space. Um, so what I've also thought about since then is I buy these bottles of water. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna rack into here and actually put a bubbler in here and see how it, how it goes. So these are just five litre bottles of water. And um, the one thing I did discover was the bung um, doesn't fit, it would fall straight through. Um, but I was able to get a um, little stopper thing that, that just sort of fits in there that lets me uh, just put it there and it works. I'm sure I can find a bigger bung at another time and I will certainly look for that. But the step, next step is going to be to rack from there into, into here. So um, I'm gonna get the auto siphon. I've been sterilizing everything, so everything's sterile and ready. Um, so it's just a case of transferring into here and saving a little bit for um, our taste test a bit later on. Since I don't have a partner in crime, um, I've just attached that there so it won't jump out, hopefully. And uh, I'm gonna have another go at the uh, auto siphon. So, here we go. So first disadvantage of a plastic bottle is it's got no weight in it. Cider on the floor, but siphon is working. Well, that worked really well. Apart from the spillage on the floor, I'm pretty pleased with where we've got to. Um, that's gonna, um, I'm gonna test a little bit of that, but um, that is now gonna stay um, sort of in the dark with a bubbler for a little while and um, we'll see where we go from there. So that's the sediment at the bottom of the demijohn. I don't think we could have got any more liquid out of there to be fair. 
And we're gonna give this a little bit of a try and then put it away for a few more days before we bottle. Right, I'm gonna steal a bit. This will be for my hydrometer reading and my taste test. Plug this up. This is my sanitized bubbler, so just put some sanitizer in there. Okay, that is now ready to go. Um, obviously a bit taller than the last time, so I'll have to find a new home for it. That has come out exactly on a specific gravity of one. We'll do some calculations on that in a second. Now this is my taste test. It's a little early um, because we are gonna say rack it for a little bit longer um, and then we will bottle it and I plan to do sort of a couple of bottles, hopefully carbonated and a couple of bottles dry. Um, if there's enough, then potentially even a sweet. So, so try a few different alternatives. We'll come back to that. But for now, this is a, a, a dry, still dry cider. And um, it hasn't been chilled. I'm gonna pop half back in the fridge and try that tomorrow. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna Give this one a shot, see what it comes out like. Very pleasant indeed, very dry. Um, definitely got that at the end. Um, so, um, and I imagine the carbonation will make a difference to that. Um, but, um, ooh, very, very drinkable. Hopefully this will last to be chilled tomorrow. So, so far, so good. A couple more steps to go to bottle. And then once it's bottled, it, it should be pretty quick after that, that we can we can take a drink. The plastic, my plastic Demijohn, despite the uh, knocking it over on the floor, um, is sort of working. My substitute bung isn't quite so good. I'm gonna try a few different alternatives on that in the future. But for now, we'll sign off and see you for the next stage, bottling. The plastic jug hasn't worked out that well. I think a bit more practice, but um, the bubbler has fallen out about half a dozen times. Um, so the whole thing isn't connecting up very well. Um, but we tried. <laughs>